The history of mankind can be told through the metal artifacts. And without it, where would we be? When I first met Sean, I saw a little Irishman behind some bottle cap glasses, and I didn't know about his, his ability or his prestige in the field. But when more students started coming in to learn from him, I realized that I uh, was in the presence of a master of his craft. What makes Sean's knives special is his ability to forge stainless steel. Traditionally, stainless steel hardens in the air. You leave it out and at room temperature, it'll harden to a certain state. But Sean is able to, through his wizardry, oil quench the stainless steel. And that's unique and pretty unheard of. And I've seen people come from all over the United States to learn how to do it from him. When I first started forging stainless, um, I hadn't heard from anybody that you can't forge stainless. When I joined the American Bladesmith Society and went to some of their courses, I learned a lot from them, but they insisted that you couldn't forge stainless, and they still do. Taking just a raw piece of metal that is flat and lifeless and turning it into something that, that has life and shape and form and purpose there may be a hammer blow or just a turn of the steel one way that just lights up the whole profile of the knife. One of my personal goals is to introduce and share with as many young people as I can the quality of working with hands and tools and the hand, mind, heart connection that that creates that I think uh, most work does not have in it anymore. 